Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm not going to review any fountain pen or any pen, but I'm going to just talk about some inks. So before we begin, a uh, humble request to my viewers to please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. Okay, so uh, today I'm going to talk about specifically one particular ink from India that's called uh, uh, Dayton. That's from Dayton. So Dayton inks are very popular in India and they are quite good inks and I have been asked you know many questions around Dayton inks. So I just thought of putting forth my views on those inks today. Okay so Dayton makes a variety of inks right and they make two types of inks right they have two versions of inks basically one is normal inks I would say I'll call them normal inks and the other ones are extra fine so the, the difference between these two inks is the cost wise they both are almost same they both almost are around you know 600 to 650 rupees both range around this same price there is no big price difference between these two categories of inks but there is a difference there is a lot of a lot of difference between these two inks, these two types of inks first is you know there is a variety of colors in you know there is difference of ink colors between normal and extra fine inks So in, for example, in normal inks, you will get these, like this royal blue. This is one of the inks, royal blue. Then they have brilliant red. These are normal inks, right? And in extra fine inks, you will get colors like sapphire blue, Sir, Sir Leon blue, blue, scarlet red. And and if you just want to look at the bottle and make, you know, try to identify which one is fine which one is extra fine so you will see the extra fine inks have extra fine written on them and and then the cap is also different the extra fine ones come with the cap that has a some you know indentation there so these extra fine inks are more saturated than these you know normal detonics these normal detonics red blue black blue black then you know these are more watery inks they are, they are quite quite watery so i would say they are more watery and, and they they are good for pens that tend to run dry and currently i am this is a airmail quality and i am using this brilliant red so you can see this ink in the this ink is not very much saturated this is you know the saturation is okay the ink is feathering so you will face some problems with these normal inks these these inks on normal paper on on just uh, this is a 100 gsm paper so the ink is working or behaving rather okay on this paper but on normal papers on even on Rhodia, these you know normal detonings tend to feather they tend to bleed through because they are more watery inks on the other hand this you know extra fine inks they are more saturated more vivid they are more vivid so so they they tend to you know hold on to the paper well they don't feather much and it, it's quite you know fun to write with these inks but there is one problem with you know Dayton inks that is that's consistent in both that you will see in both normal inks as well in, in extra you know, fine inks Dayton inks do stain the fountain pens so, so you can see here this is a clear barrel right but the barrel is almost now turned red earlier I had uh, you know sapphire blue ink into this pen so you can see a small blue tinge also 
um, because I washed this pen and you know refilled it with red ink but the blue has stayed and the blue is stayed so this pen the, this ink will stain your pen so if you want to use this pens I would prefer you or I would recommend you to stick to a single pen for single ink don't change inks if you want to use Dayton inks I love these inks these inks are very very good so but I use one ink in one pen I don't change after this incident you know I don't change inks with this pen so the, the good example is you know, you know I have this clicker iron also with me this clicker iron has Schaefer turquoise in this and you can see the difference clearly but there is price difference also Schaefer costs around 400 450 rupees and this Dayton ink costs around 40 rupees so at this price range I think this is a very very good ink to have so these these extra fine inks are definitely a go to ink you can have this you know inks but also you know I won't use these inks in very very high end fountain pens they are good for air mails, Conrad pens you know are regular you can even use them in Parker pens but they, they will stain the pen that this has to be you know kept in mind while using these things otherwise they, there is no problem with this you will have at 600 rupees you get 15 inks 15 colors different colors to experiment with to play with and they are fun to have and, and fun to write with hope this video helps and keep watching please do like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel for more videos thank you bye bye